transition day. Let's learn how to do transition. So this is how I teach it. And this dude is doing the same thing right now. Add it up. Learn it by doing. It's very intuitive. What do I mean about that? If you start to do right, slows down, sit, start, and you start to bring these three closer together, eventually barely sitting down, well, you're doing a transition. that he knows how to ride, he knows how to stop, and he knows how to restart. That's freaking good because I leave him doing this for the next 20 minutes and I'm gonna give him two more instructions and boom, he's doing it. You have to lose speed. The way you do that, send the kite higher, push the bar away, well, and you sit back on the toilet. AK, you bend both of your legs. And once both of the legs are bent, your board goes into this really edging position. Done. You start breaking, you'll start losing speed. Do this part actively using your weight and your board. Eventually the kite arrives to 12 and you will sit down into the water. Then once you're down, you have to maintain the water start position. So you sit down back to the same, I'm being small, like a ball. Once you're in this position, you're ready to start again. And once the kite is on 12, and hopefully you are precise enough, it's there, then you can just do the other dive on the other side. All we're gonna do is to sit down in the first 10 times, just for five seconds. You sit down, four, three, two, one, pull the bar, go the other way. The next 10 times, you're gonna do three seconds. The next 10 times, we're gonna do one second. And that's almost a touch and go. Just basically, by the time the kite arrives to 12, you feel you're sitting down, you touch the water, you pull the bar, boom, go the other way. So if you're able to do this, and it's literally 30 tries, so it's 30 tries, it's not so many. Within half an hour, you can have a solid transition. And of course, there's different kind of transitions, but I like this. You have to maintain some tension on the lines, by leaning back, by edging, and But that's something that I don't want to explain because it's a long list to a student. I'd rather tell them do a water start. They did already 200 water starts, so they, they know this. It's everything is in the muscles. But yes, of course, once you're going the other way, it's crucial to shift your body weight to the other side and stretch out the front leg, except the pull, and then put the edge. Typical mistakes. And you send the kite up and you don't bend your legs, you're not leaning back. Well, that creates the effect that you go under the kite and the tension will be over in no time. Another typical mistake, even if you create good tension, so let's say until 12 is good, you're about to send down the kite, but it's kind of aggressive and you get scared. That long and steady dive that brings you long and understandable power. Oh yeah, so there is one more typical mistake when you're being a and send it. Uh, if you send it, it might take you over, you will lose balance, you might twist, and uh, you might get airborne. These are the things that you don't want to do, especially at not that level. Of course, when you're getting better, it's an option. And then you can do, you know, you switch the boot first, then you send the kite. In those kind of cases, you can be even aggressive. I don't really have anything else to say. You nail the transition if you do this. Until next time, enjoy the power zone.